and you're welcome back to Morning Express. Now, to set the tone for our discussion, we are currently being joined by Udemea Udofa from our Uyo studios. Now, Udemea Abbasi Udofa is with the ABC Media Center and also a public affairs analyst who lends his thoughts to issues of national interest. Hello, good morning. If you can hear me, it's a pleasure to have you join us on the program. Hello, Mr. Odemabasi, can you hear me? Well, good morning to you again. Uh, let's uh, start off with the first story on the lineup. Uh, I mean, the cabinet reshuffle, uh, known as Hurricane Tinubu, that has reached the cab uh, ministerial cabinet with uh, five people leaving and ten uh, reappointments. And of course, some ministries have been scrapped, others have been merged. How do you react to this long awaited um, uh, cabinet reshuffle that has been in the news uh, for a very long time? Saying that I have ambivalent feelings about this uh, um, cabinet um, restructuring, if you call it, uh, it is within the purview of the president's responsibility to what he wants to do with his cabinet. He is con uh, constitutionally empowered to appoint people to his cabinet. Those are the people that he will trust, that will uh, bring about the renewed uh, hope agenda to uh, fruition. So if he finds that there are lapses in any of these people that are his own men, he has the legal right to be able to hire and to fire. So for me, it's not a, such a big news. It's not uh, is normal, it was expected. And I'm sure that um, from the inside of the presidency, they, they have maybe monitored their the performance and then decided that uh, changes are very necessary. And then I also want to remark on the realignments. There are some realignments that are very, very, uh, very important. Uh, maybe to reduce the cost of governance. Uh, it's, it's something, something that, that we have, have um, been, been advocating for, for a very long time. Long time. Uh, government, government should be kept trim. trim. And, and so, so when, when you're talking about collapsing ministries and fusing them to become one ministry like the Ministry of Youth, Sport and, and Culture, it's a, it's a very, very welcome, welcome development. development. But, but I, I, like I like to remark also that it is not the office that makes a man, it is the man that makes the office. So whoever is going to be reappointed, whoever is going to mount the commanding heights of any ministry uh, should be uh, somebody who is going to make that office to be relevant. Well, well that's there, my take. There, that's my there, there were speculations that um, people like Matawale or Yotola and the, and the likes, especially Matawale, who is the Minister of Defense, uh, there were speculations that the hammer could have hit him as well, considering the fact that uh, the country continues to grapple with insecurity, especially in the northwestern part of the country where the president has asked him to go to and ensure that he stops the banditry there. But up till now, we continue to see and hear stories of bandit attacks, kidnappings and abductions of people from that region. Do you think that perhaps there might have been some sort of personal interest uh, somewhere that uh, made Matawa, someone like Matawale to have escaped uh, Hurricane Tinubu? I've been, I've been a journalist, journalist for 37 years, years and, and I, I, I have learned not, not to be part of any speculation. speculation. The, the, the truth is that if we are to, to, to arrest the, the problem in, in uh, uh, North East, East then, then it is a failure of leadership. leadership. It, it, it is not, not about whether everybody, everybody must take responsibility, responsibility for it. Security is not something that you want to talk about it from a military perspective. perspective. It, is it is possible, possible that, that the local population is also part of the security problem. problem. And, and uh, we're also, also talking about um, uh, the, the, the fifth column within, within the administration, which may be outside the ministry. ministry. So, so I, all, all I am asking is that there should be... Um, um, uh, besides besides speculation about who and who merits that office, that office there, there should be a situation whereby we adopt modern uh, modern forms of, of uh, 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 um, intel gathering 
to be, to be able to read ourselves from all of this. We, we, we've, we've had situations where they say need uh, uh, track, track security, security problems and all of that. that. So, so I think, think it is a, a weightier responsibility than the, 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 the media. It's something that you should take a very, a very serious, serious look at it. So, so uh, and it's also wrong, wrong to say that, say that the presidency has a, a special uh, a special interest, interest about who is there. There is no absolutely no leader that wants to leave a very bad legacy, especially in terms of security. So I think all these things that you be able to sit down, down and, 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 and look, look at the, at the uh, challenges frontally to find, to find out where and where. And where. They, 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 they are political solutions. solutions. They, they are um, technical, technical solutions to this. this. This, 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 there, there are some, there's something, something that we, do, we, we do not know that, that has to do with maybe the politicians, politicians that are holding this way in those places. It's not really the ministry. Well, well, Mr. Odofa, yesterday we saw quite a very interesting video from the Ministry of Women Affairs here in Abuja where there were jubilations after the Minister of Women Affairs was sacked alongside four other ministers. Uh, you know, people were jubilating within the office premises, jumping, popping drinks and celebrating. On one hand, some are of the opinion that yes, it's just perhaps uh, the Minister of Women, former Minister of Women Affairs now was not performing well. But on the other hand, uh, there's another part where that people say that perhaps she was just walking ardently without corruption. And that was the reason why um, this her sack was met by a lot of jubilation by uh, her, her ministry, staff of her ministry. Now, now, are we, are we sure, sure that, that the ministry, ministry staff, staff are not part of the problem? problem because, because on one hand, he said, uh, maybe, uh, maybe because she didn't allow, allow for corruption, corruption and, and then, then the other one, he said that she wasn't performing. performing. My, My take, take in all of this is that, that um, as, long as long as you have a situation whereby a man cannot be the minister, minister of a female of a female, female uh, organization like that, like that of a paracal organization, organization like that, that there, will there will always be a problem we have been advocating for the ministry of men affairs if the, if the women want to have you know, you know we, we can, can say, say that they are vulnerable groups and all of that but the, but the truth, truth about it is that, is that whoever is jubilating um, um, does not expect that, that no, matter no matter how well one, one is performing, performing that, the that the person is going to be forever i think that the problem the problem started from the former um uh, minister, uh, minister, the one, the one that, that was ousted, ousted the, first the first minister to be ousted out of, out of this administration, administration. I, think I think better I do or something. You know, you know I, I, I think that, that um, the, the, the place must have been, has, has become, become a cesspool, cesspool of maybe corruption, corruption and, all and all of that. that. You know, and when, and when you, you talk, talk about corruption, it's possible that there are people that are higher up that are using that place as a slush fund. For, for, for certain, certain terrible, terrible things, things and, and all of that. that. You know, so, so I, 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 I don't want to, um, I don't want to join, join myself with the celebration of the people, people that I civil servants are part of the problem in this country. country. Uh, we, uh, we know, know about, about the corruption in the index that, that has been recorded. recorded. So, it's so it's not just about politicians, it's about the synergy between the 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 civil servants, the public servants, and the politicians. If if you have a bad bad leader, you should also ask yourself: Have I been performing properly? Because I remember, I remember the, the, the one, one time that the Minister, minister of Works, I think, I think the, the former, former governor of the Bonny State, State, went, went and, and discovered that the people that, that assumed uh, 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 duties by one o'clock, that as far as I'm concerned, is, uh, is, 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 is part, part of the corruption. So, so for, for civil, civil servants to be jubilated, I don't think it is part of the situation. We shouldn't consider the jubilation. There are people, she had her own people, and then... She had, she had people, people that, that were against her. In, in every situation, situation, there will be people, people that will rejoice and there will be people that will be unhappy. Well, so, so but whatever happens, a leader should not be, a leader's, leader's performance should not be decided by the people, the people that, that are the naysayers and the people that are also in the, in the team. Now, Mr. Odofa, you are in, in Oyo, the Aquaribum State capital. And, uh, of course, uh, the Niger Delta uh, Ministry was wrapped by the federal government and like elder statesman uh, Ed edwin clark kicked against it however the federal government has come out to refute this stating that the ministry was not scrapped rather it was just a change in nomenclature what are we looking at who should we believe at this point because it appears that uh, there is a little bit of divide as to what exactly the federal government or president Tinubu has done with the niger delta ministry allegiance to, to the federal, federal government of Nigeria. Nigeria. Those, Those are, are the people that are the ones that are deciding things here, not on, on uh, an ethnic leader. leader. As, as far as I'm concerned, 
that the, the lawyers will say that the protest, that condemnation will kick up. It is not relevant, relevant to the case. case. As, As I, I said earlier, if you remember, remember the, the president has a responsibility is within his legal, legal right to decide what to do with the cabinet. cabinet. If, if he feels, feels that that name, uh, Niger, Niger Delta, Delta because ministry, ministry is causing, causing problems problem because it has made, made some other people to say not where is commission and all, and all of that is going to cause a lot of problems. problems. You know, you know if, if the name changes, changes he has a responsibility, responsibility. And, and nobody should outrightly go ahead and and, and, uh, and, say, and say that because he's the leader of the Niger Delta that that what the president has done is wrong. We must not. Uh, uh, try, try to, to look, look at, at the presidency, presidency from, from the, the eyes of, of wrongdoing. wrongdoing. The, the president knows, knows exactly what the, what the problem is, is. and he's trying as much as possible to 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 to, 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 to recruit and, and do what, what will make his administration, administration because, because it's the, the, the well, 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 well be perceived well. well. It's it's a, a, for me, I believe that it is basically a realignment and repositioning of that ministry, not saying that the ministry has been proper. You know, you know, I know, I know that, that these are times that, that we we have, we have been, been um, um, yet, yet to to, to suspect, suspect every, every move of government. government. But, but I, I think, think that government, government must, must succeed if we have some little believability. There, there are people, people in this administration. Even I am, I am one, one of those who that believe that the president means well for this country. He's not somebody that hates the Niger Delta so much that he will come and say no, you pack and go and all of that. Unless there are legal issues. You know, you know, which, which he has, has uh, uh, crushed, then, then, then that is when we have a problem. problem. If, if he decides, decides to say that this should, should not be in Minister of Niger Delta, Delta and, and he is doing it and, and, and um, trying, trying to, as, as much as possible, to see what they can do to realign, maybe reposition it for that. that. Fine. Fine. Also, also, okay. So, you, you are of the opinion that, uh, one, the president did not scrap the Minister of Niger Delta affairs, he only changed the name. And you think that the nomenclature could have been the problem because everybody now wants a, a, a ministry, the, the Northeast Development Commission, the uh, Southwest Development Commission, uh, Northwest Development Commission, and the, and the rest. Uh, but what would you have rather had the president do, in your opinion, that it has been done? But do you think this was the right way to go, especially with regard to the NDDC? The provenance of the law. He has, he has, a, he has, a, has a right to do it because, because it's his administration. administration. And, we and we must believe that he should, he should do whatever will serve his administration. administration. No, no, it, it, it's, it's, one thing, all, it's one thing the for the president to have be. the right. It's one thing for the president to have the right to do it. It's another thing for his decision to be right. What opinion are you of at the moment? Do you think the president's decision, in as much as it's coming from an executive power perspective, is right? At, at the, the presidency is saying, is saying that, that it is just, just a name change, change. and, and this not a critic is saying, saying that, that he has scrapped it, it. And, and so who do I believe? I'm saying, I'm saying I, I go along, along with the president, the president that, that it is basically a repositioning and, and it, it, it is not going to affect, affect the, the dynamics, dynamics of that ministry. If it's going to affect the dynamics of that ministry, it's going to say no, we're not going to have oversight on what is spread development. The Niger, the Niger Delta, Delta then, then I will go, go against, against it. it. But then this, this is allowing it to unfold. unfold. Let, let us let, let, let us probe. Let, let us find out what the, 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 the president is going to say. But it, but it is not saying that, that the, the president has the right, right to, make to make sure he causes problems, problems, problems in the country. He makes, makes people to be angry. angry. What, what I'm saying is that let us see if this thing is just a name change and is a way of repositioning that ministry. There's nothing wrong with it, and it is within his right to do it. More Nigerians have been calling for uh, more sacking of underperforming ministers. Now, I might not want to start uh, calling names out on air uh, due to certain reasons, but uh, do you think that perhaps in the coming days or weeks, we will still be seeing more reshuffling in uh, the, 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 min the president's ministerial cabinet, or is it just it for the rest of uh, his tenure? And and over, they, they, at, at any point, point in time, time it, it doesn't, doesn't have to be on, on specific, specific moment. moment. At, at any moment of on time, on time uh, the, the president has a right to decide that this one stays and this one does not go. You know, you know my, my problem is that, that there are all, always several sides to each issue. issue. They, they are behind the public outcry. There are also some people that are also 
bring, bring drums, drums for such a person. person. You know, you know there, there have been obvious um, um, problems in certain, certain areas, areas of the economy. economy. For, for me, me, I think, I think that, that the, 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 the ministries that, that have to do with uh, a growth, a growth like, like the finance, like, like the uh, economic, economic development, and all of that, that they, should they should be pruned. They should, they should have, have some, some kind of excision. You know, there are some people there that are supposed to be removed because, because I think the problem of this, of this country is basically about, about the economy. economy. And, and if, if they, they fail after, after about two years to be, to be able to bring in uh, change would add value to the the life of the ordinary Nigerians. I think that we should have the president should have everything. It shows that the economic policies are not working. And a situation whereby you have uh, people, uh, uh, the, 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 the president talk, talk about, about keeping on worrying, and, and then there are no growth in the real in the real sectors. sectors. Then, then it means that, that um, there's, there's something wrong with the economic, economic planning, planning uh, of, of the of the, of the architecture, architecture of the of the, of the administration. administration. My, My problem will be the the, the, the ministers, ministers that are responsible, responsible for growth in in the real development sectors, the development or the ones that are supposed to cause. Uh, uh, development like food production, like like uh, like, uh, like uh, infrastructure, infrastructure development, development, ministries of works, ministry, ministry of, of uh, finance, finance economy planning, and all of those. They should be a jig, which, which may not necessarily be by sacking ministers. ministers. They should sit, sit down and harness solutions to the, to the economic problems of this country. Of this country. And, then and then sports has, has also, also sports, sports is part of development. I'm happy that is being is realigning with Ministry of I think Youth Development and Culture and all of that. It's not that part has not been been really kosher with with Nigerians. I think there should be some tinkering with those those sectors. The the creative art and the creative art should also be rejected because there's a lot of money. A, a, a lot, lot of, of development, development that, that uh, accompanies the, 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 the creative industry. industry. Oh, all right, Mr. Demeavasi, thank you for sharing uh, your thoughts quite uh, intelligently on, on, on this program right now. I will still get your take on other issues. Before that, uh, let's take a look at a statement on the restructuring of ministries and ministerial portfolios by the federal government that was released yesterday in our asset grits your screen. We'll take a moment to run our eyes through ministers that have been sacked, ministers that have been reappointed, and the seven ministers that were newly appointed. Let's uh, take a look at it now, shall we? As it grits your screen here, it says that the president, Bola Metinubu GCFR, has approved the immediate implementation of eight far-reaching actions to reinvigorate the administration's capacity for optimal efficiency pursuant of, the, of his commitment to deliver on his promises to Nigerians. Now, of course, the next here shows uh, a list of, of ministers assigned to new portfolios uh, as follows. You'd also find the minister, Honorable Dr. Yusuf Tanko Sununu, uh, who was who is the current minister of uh, state for education with a new designation minister of states humanitarian affairs and poverty reduction alongside others uh, let's uh, also take a look at another another list of ministers to be discharged i think this is the one nigerians would uh, most want to know barrister oju ken Ohaneye, former Minister of Women Affairs, Lola Adik John, former Minister of Tourism, Professor Tahir Maman, San OON, former Minister of Education, Abdullahi Mohammed Gozo, Minister of State, Housing and Urban Development, and of course, uh, Dr. Jamila Bio Ibrahim, Minister of Youth Development. These are the five ministers that have been booted out of uh, President Tinubu's uh, ministerial cabinet. Now, let me come back to you, uh, Mr. Odeme Abasi, uh, over there in Uyo, if you can still hear me. Uh, these are just uh, five people or five ministers that have been kicked out. Ministry of Women Affairs, uh, the Ministry of Tourism, Education, uh, uh, Ministry of State, Housing and Urban Development, and of course, the Ministry of Youth uh, Development, uh, which was initially attached to the Ministry of Sports and then it, it became a ministry on its own and now with the minister gone do you do you perhaps think that the ministry of uh, youth development will still uh, be active or are we looking at it being scrapped as well 
or renamed? There's a word that you use, a phrase that you use that kept has kept me laughing for some time. You, you, you seem, seem to have a uh, liking for the word kicked out. Uh, you know, I, 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 I cringe when you say kicked out, you know, uh, because, because the kicked out should be opposite of, of uh, they, should they should have, have an open day when they got in, where they kicked in, and, and now you are talking about them kicking out. Well, well, they, well know, maybe I should rephrase ministers that were ushered out. On the usual phrase that they've been relieved of the appointment, I think that. I think, I think that, that is, I, will I will be comfortable with that. With that. Let, let, let me say, say that, that um, um, there, there is just some, some judgment in the, the, um, in the realignment of the, of the culture, culture, youth, and all of that. Because, because uh, youth, youth development, development has, has, um, has, uh, occupied, has, has agitated, agitated the minds of uh, uh, people like me, like mine, like 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 and, 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 and people like think like that, that think like, like me. Because what is youth development? Uh, what, uh, what, how, how are, we are we able, able to harness the, the, the energies, energies of these youths to, to, for, to further uh, uh, development aspirations of any administration? The problem is that, that youths do, do not see uh, a, a meaning in so many things that, that the, the so-called elders, elders, the planners of the administration, administration have done over time. time. Nobody, Nobody thinks, thinks about youths. Youth. There, there is nothing that the government has done over time. time. I'm, I'm talking about maybe in the last 30, 30 years that will agitate the minds of the, I mean, that, 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 that will add value to the, to the energies of the youth. youth. There's, There's so, so much employment. employment. Sometimes, Sometimes youth, 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 youth uh, this, this thing is like taken as not as a serious issue. Um, um, in, in technology, technology now, now technology, technology is, is where there's, there's a lot, lot of development. development. How, many How many youths have been, um, have been, have been encouraged, encouraged at the, at the state level, level, at the local government level, at the federal level, government level to, to take up these, these ventures? ventures. And, and then, then you're talking, talking about education. Education, education is, is something that has really, really been, been sneezed. Sniffed, sniffed away, away by um, 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 several, several regimes, regimes in this country. country. Nobody, Nobody seems to take education, education very, very seriously. seriously. And, and this, this is one of the, the um, uh, parameters, parameters of development. This is how, how you judge an administration. administration. This is how, how society is the type of society. society. We've, We've, in, in, in the last time, between, between the, 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 the last administration, administration and this administration, administration we, we've had universities shut down for a long time. We, 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 the, the ministers, the ministries that handle handle, handle employment, employment. I, mean, I mean, sorry, that, that handle education, education, education. And development, seem, seem to be to to ha to, 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 to be um, not, not concerned with, with the yearnings of the university teachers over time. time. There's, There's so much that is spent on defence, and it does, it does appear that the education, education of the, of the youth is not within the front burner, is not in the front burner. As far as I'm concerned, is leadership failure. So education, fine. Youth development, strategic, these are fine out. How, how are, are we doing? doing? How at that time? And the, and the problems that we have in the administration is not only within the life of this administration. Of this administration. It's, it's a carryover. Carry carry some, some of them up to about 40 years. years. So, so government has to reject education. Government has to put it as a front burner issue. Government must take education as and, and then youth development is connected to education, is connected, connected to technology, and, and it's also connected, connected to food production. Because, because if you go to universities, you, you, the, the number of, of people that, that are in agricultural, agricultural science, science agri engineering, is declining because, because nobody is making any of these things, things any of these things attractive. attractive. We just say youth development and think that probably what we do is to be able to give out money to youth, support their upstart and support their, their, their MSMEs, uh, entrepreneurship and all of that. Without, without good, good education, without, without good training, training the youths are not, are not uh, going to be the leader, will not emerge as the leaders of, uh, successful, successful leaders of tomorrow. tomorrow. And then, and then we we'll talk, talk about culture. culture. Well, well, I think that, that uh, not many activities have been, have been uh, propped up in that aspect of this economy. economy. This, this is a time that culture is very, very important. So seriously, tourism, tourism is, driving is driving the new economy. economy. So, so I think, think that, that um, there, there needs to be a lot of jigging 
of these, of these uh, uh, sectors. sectors. So, so if those, if those people, people have been eased out of the administration, the administration, the president says, okay, okay thank, thank you very much, much. you have you done well, well. I, think I think we need new hands, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, you have uh, captured it quite well, uh, Mr. Odemir Basi, but there is also another issue here, not really in line with uh, ministers that have been ushered out of uh, President Tinubu's administration, uh, but rather his chief security officer, whom there were speculations that the president was going to change. But now reports here on the Daily Sun newspaper say that uh, the president is under pressure to retain Fasasi, who is his uh, uh, CSO, until course resumption time. How would you react to this? Why do you think that in the first place the president had wanted to relieve uh, Fasasi of his duties? Uh, uh, good luck to him if he's, he's under pressure to, to the, the president is under treasure, treasure, uh, pressure, pressure to, to retain him. him. That's, that's our sagacity. And, and you, you know that, that uh, the office of the CSO, CSO is, a is a very important office. office. But, but I, I know that, that whether he's under pressure or not to retain him, if we have a backlash, the kind of backlash that we've been having, the president in any, in any um, will, not will not have any option than to leave him on his appointment. But the, but the truth, truth about it is that is the CSO, CSO so, uh, a, a, a position that you have to bandy, bandy about, about like that? You need, you need to, to have, have a proper replacement. replacement. And, and how, how are we? How, how do we know that the pressure that we have is not because another person was that office, the certain group was that office? I think the president should have the mental picture. He should be allowed to allowed choose. His, his own, own CSO, CSO. You, know, you know, don't, don't be, be comfortable, comfortable working, working with, with the end, the end of, of the day performing uh, uh, because of certain perceived, perceived wrongs that as a cause in the security uh, uh, architecture of the country. Then, then it means that, that allow, him allow him time to find a, 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 a suitable, suitable replacement. In, in most, most cases, security, security issues are not um, discussed in the way is within, within the administration, administration understands, understands that. that. And, and so, so we should we give, give the president leverage to be, to be able to choose who is, who is going to replace him. For, For me, me um, nobody, nobody should, should put, um, put, put the president, and the president, and the president should, should not bow, bow to any, any pressure. pressure. You should take, take the elected him. He's, He's the chief executive of this country, and he knows what to do to advance his own vision for the country. Well, still staying with... We should not ask questions. We should ask him, why are you doing this? My, my problem with the administration, with the administration is that the administration, the administration not open to the media. The media. There, there should, should be a lot more, more um, interface, interface with the media. media. You know, you know so if somebody will sit down, sit down and, and have it. Let, let probe, probe the presidency. presidency. Let, let the media ask questions. questions. Because, because the, the media, media journalists, journalists are not spirits. Spirit. Unless, unless we are told something, something unless we sit down to analyze with policy holders, we will not be able to come out with the with the the right perspective to our exposures. So you're quite right. I don't see that happening in this in this administration, and I'm not very happy about it. You're quite right. A lot of people, especially journalists, share similar opinions with you about the transparency and openness uh, to journalism or journalists by the administration. It, it appears that the administration, in as much as it is doing its best to bring the dividends of democracy to Nigerians and create uh, people-driven policies, is shrouded in a bit of mystery and uh, secrecy when it comes to uh, some in-depth conversations that Nigerians need to be privy to. H how do we tear off this veil and ensure that we penetrate into uh, the, the administration and, and bring the stories that Nigerians want to hear, the news that Nigerians want to know, to their, their TV screens or radio, t uh, radio uh, sets? I, I didn't get that. Well, well, I, I was saying that a lot of people share a similar opinion with you when it comes to the secrecy that shrouds the current administration. And as much as it is working and doing its best to ensure that uh, it brings about people-driven policies, it just seems like it's not very open to journalists. How do we ensure that whatever secrecy that there is in the government, as long as it is not confidential or top secret, Nigerians you know, get to know about some of these things? My, 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 my take, take on that is that, is that there's really nothing that is secret under the sun. No matter 
what, what secrets you want to, want to uh, conceal, conceal. You, know, you know, it will always come back. Our duty as journalists is to, is to um, stand um, in, in the center between the populace, the, the, the ones that are leaders. leaders. And, we and we know that, that there are certain uh, things that leaders do, do. Will, will not, not, um, will not have, have um, the benefit the, 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 the common man. man. And, and since government was elected to to provide, provide for the welfare needs, needs and clear the ground for us to be able to achieve uh, our own individual and corporate goals. goals. They have, they have the responsibility to answer to certain things that might um, uh, turn, turn up in the, in in the administration. administration. You see, you see the, the image, image of this administration, administration has been rubbish because of this um, a tendency of talking down. Uh, even, even when Nigeria, Nigeria was, was there, there, you know, you know uh, that uh, uh, media, media aid was there, there. We, we see, we saw a lot, lot of um, uh, infighting. In we, we, we saw that it was not the united um, image that, that they presented, the presidential the image, the image that was presented. And, and then you see the language that, that came, came from the, the state, state, state house releases were, were kind of talking down on Nigeria. They, they were not uh, explicit. We were, we were, it was like the, the presidency was giving, giving down the, You know, we, we need, need to have a lot, lot of um, interchanges. interchanges. We, we need to have a lot of exchanges, exchanges with the media, media because, because the, the media understands the, the problems of the people. We are street men. And the truth about it is that these days, the direction is so confusing because the people that are talking about, about problems, problems of the common men are the leaders, leaders are the people that are not common, common. and, and they, they don't know but we journalists we have we, we meet, meet with these people on, on daily basis sometimes you know you know, there's a place that is a, a melting pot of all sorts the plaza you know you i go there and sit down and talk with people and then if you don't talk with people you will not know their needs government must come to the media government must open to the media so that we will be able to sit down and discuss all of this the media like i said is more than a mirror you know, you know, the, the media, media is more than a mirror. We, we have, have to be able, able to bring certain, certain perspective. perspective. The, the street credibility that, that this administration needs can, can only be done. done. Let, 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 because, because the impression that Nigerians are having is that the federal, federal government, government is operating on, on the principle of state capture. They are, they are interested in telling you what to do and what not to do. But they are not interested in what is your problem. It's like somebody who is who needs who needs to go to school and you are giving the person a car and then you are educating the person on what the gains of the car over school is. So they need to be a relationship between the people and government. It's been absent in this administration, and I think that the media is not just interested in exposing the secret of the administration. Is he wants to get across to the leadership what the pains of the administration. For example, you can come to. Tell, tell people, people that, that are bleeding in their, in their hearts, people, people that, that are bleeding in their stomach, stomach that they should be, be patient. Uh, from, uh, from the first lady, from, from the, the, uh, the, the, the the first son, son or whatever, they are, they are, we, we, those, those kind of things are not necessary. necessary. We, we the, 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 the presidential media, media office, should, 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 should try as much as possible to make sure that this kind of obtuse uh, communication, communication does not come out. Let the presidency open up. Well, Mr. Odemir Abbasi, it is just as much as you have said it is about ensuring that the presidency is open. It is about that street credibility that it requires by interacting and conversing with the common man and understanding the challenges and needs of the common Nigerians. Now, in still keeping in line with that, uh, recently, former President uh, Chief Olushigo Obasanjo had made a statement in Bauchi that the 20 million out-of-school children is a breeding ground for future Boko Haram members. The Senate president at the floor of the Senate yesterday reiterated this comment, stating that the same 20 million out of school children could be future bandits if not properly inculcated into the Nigerian school system. He has actually called for a summit to be held, an emergency summit sort of to be held to address and tackle this issue. Finally, in about five minutes, we have five minutes to wrap up this conversation. What are your thoughts on this? In a country of about 200 million people, 20 million children are out, are out of school. Very sad. It's, it's not, not just sad, it's sickening. sickening. And, and it just, just goes, goes to illustrate what I have um, further what I have said. You see, you see unless, unless the federal, federal government decides, decides to be intentional about those, those three people, people out of school children, children to, to involve, involve them in education, education to involve those ones that are, we're not even talking, even the graduates, graduates, 
that, 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 that do, do not have jobs and should also be classified, be classified, classified as, as street children, children because, because they don't have the hope. Be, be able to join from useful partnerships that, that, that can bring these people into the economy, economy to, to perform, to, to, to participate in the economy. Otherwise, this, this country will convulse into, into such a situation, situation that even, even the leadership of the country will not be able to handle it. And an angry, angry youth, out, out of street, 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 street uh, 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 yeah, out, out of school children, children uh, unemployed, unemployed youth, and all, and all that, that they are a ticking time bomb in the administration. So, so beyond even palliatives, beyond using the the, uh, the, the Ministry, ministry of, of uh, Youth, or, or maybe former Ministry, ministry of, of Youth, I don't know what it's called now, now to, to be able to give little cash to the youth, we should be able to tackle the problem of build more schools and see what we can do in form alliances with the corporate uh, uh, world, the, the NGOs, NGOs and all of that, that to, to be able to make these people to be part, part of the economy. economy. Otherwise, it's, it's going, going to be, be very bad. bad. They, they are, are Nigerians, Nigerians and they are there not because they wanted, they wanted to be uh, out there, but it's because, because of wars, it's because, because, it's because of certain things, things, things in the economy that, that has ribbed their uh, own uh, development apart. And, and we owe them as a people, as a government, to be able to bring them these people back into the, give them development options. So, so the former, the former president, president is uh, is is, uh, is very uh, is very um, uh, au fait with some of the issue of children, our out of school children, and, and then as far as I'm concerned, understands this because at a certain point himself was somebody who could not go to school because of uh, disenfranchisement. So he understands. And, and I know that, know that he's going to pursue it with, with all amount of uh, seriousness. So, so the government should, should take this thing very seriously. Let, Let us leave every other thing and concentrate in how to liberate these children from, from the frustration of not going to school. To school. And, and also, let us not forget about employment. Youth, youth unemployment in this country is, is something that will consume a nation if we are not able to handle it. Let us think about changes in this economy, expand the economy. And we are not, we don't really have time to sit down and talk about about long-term long economic economic, economic uh, policies. policies. Let, Let us talk about, about things within the that, that can come, come to fruition within, within the next six months. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Then, I, I must thank you so much, uh, Mr. Odeva Basi Udofa. I am afraid this is all time can permit us to take, but it's been a very informative conversation with you, and I believe our listeners out there uh, must have uh, captured quite some strong points from you it's been a pleasure and we look forward to having you back in our studio to still lend your thoughts to national matters